I thank Dr. Juan Pablo Lievano for dubbing this video in English. In today's practice, we will do a skin suture with separated simple stitches. To develop skills in doing the suture in one stage, two stages, learning knot making, as well as the stitch removal. I hope it is very useful for you. We will start the practice on the porcine skin. Take the scalpel. Whenever making an incision, secure the support of your hand. The incision should be made with the scalpel angled approximately 30 degrees. With your non-dominant hand, tighten the tissue. Make a firm cut of about 6 to 7 centimeters. Verify the incision and complement it with other incisions, extending them to the subcutaneous fatty tissue. Note the thickness of the dermis, as well as the subcutaneous fatty tissue in depth. To begin the suture, mount the suture needle on the needle holder. Secure and present the tissue with the claw forceps. Insert the needle into the epidermis and exit through the deep part of the dermis. Retrieve the needle with the needle holder to do the stitch in two steps. Again, insert the needle into the opposite edge of the wound at the same height as it came out previously in the dermis. Insert the needle and exit through the epidermis. Retrieve the needle with the needle holder and run the suture to leave a tail of 2-3 to three centimeters of suture. To start knotting the suture, place your needle holder parallel to the wound and, with your other hand, give two loops forward on the needle holder. Take the distal end of the suture and tie the first knot until the tissue borders face completely. Again, place the needle holder parallel to the wound. Now, make a single loop in the opposite direction to the previous one. In this case, we will do it backwards. Take the distal end of the suture and tie the second knot. To do the third knot, proceed in the same way. Place the needle holder parallel to the wound. Do a single loop. This time, do it forward. Take the end of the suture and tie the knot. Continue in the same way to make four to five knots to the suture. In general, it is recommended for monofilaments to make four to five knots. However, for training purposes, to acquire skills in making knots, I recommend that you do 10 to 15 knots at each stitch to develop the skill and mobility of the carpus. Once the knot is finished, cut the ends of the knot with scissors. Now, we will make the second stitch, passing it in a single step without removing the needle through the center. Pass the two lips of the wound and make the suture the same way as before. Begin the knot by making two loops forward, then one backwards, and so on to complete five knots per stitch. To place the third stitch, observe the distance that you kept between the first and second one and at the same distance make the third stitch. We're going to do it in a single stage. Pass the needle through the first side of the wound and then the second side of the wound. Take the needle and do the knotting of the suture in the same way we did previously. At the end of this knot, continue to place stitches until the wound is completely closed. For the stitch removal, use forceps to pull one end of the knot and, with a scalpel blade's cutting edge facing on the opposite side of the skin, you can cut and remove each stitch. 
You can also remove the stitches with scissors. Take the knot with forceps. Insert the scissors blade into the knot and make the cut. Continue until removing all the stitches from the wound. Thank you.